Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Real questions plucked from Twitter, Facebook, Google+, YouTube, my email address, chris at perlo.com. Believe me, we see all sorts of questions come in every day. And this one, how many gigs of RAM do you need to make a good computer? It's a good question, but it's not really a fair question. If you were to ask someone like my mom, how many gigs of RAM do you want? She'd look at me and go, how many was a who's a? She re that's how she responds to most of the questions that I ask. Now, Wicket, on the other hand, my dog, he always wants to max out because he, he wants as much as he could possibly cram into uh, his computer. It's relative. I don't know when you guys are going to get it through your little thick skulls that what's good for you is not good for everybody else. So good is relative. The question that you should be asking is, how much RAM would I need to do X, with X being a variable? How much RAM would be good if I was going to surf the web? A gig, two, pretty standard these days, versus how many uh, gigs of RAM would be good if I was going to do video editing? And I would say as much as you could possibly cram in there. As much as you could possibly afford. That's always a, a great answer to these questions. Because good, it, it, it's, it may be okay. Or it may be great. Because it's relative, okay? What's best for you is not necessarily going to be best for everybody else. Just going to say that again. Kind of sounding like a broken record here. And I'm also going to go as far as to say as many of you who are watching this video have never seen an actual record that's been broken they used to, music, you used to be on a spin, you, 33 and a third, or 70. <clears throat> so, how many gigs of RAM is good? Depends on what you're doing. I always, always say, uh, just to reiterate this point, get as much as you could possibly afford. Uh, you know it's too much when you're spending more on RAM than you are the computer itself, unless, of course... Uh, you're doing some pretty memory-intensive tasks, specifically in the realm of video editing. Now, in, if what you're doing is not as high-end as video editing, if you're just browsing the web, playing some uh, web-based games, you probably don't need much RAM. If you're playing hardcore games, yeah, RAM. Uh, if, you, if you're uh, doing video editing, yeah, RAM. If you're just doing average stuff, yeah, it's just in the middle. Depends, man. Everyone's going to have a different answer to this question. I guarantee you're going to answer it differently. And you're crazy to think that 16 gigs of RAM for one person is great for everybody else. Because you're not giving good advice if that's the kind of answer that you're giving. And I would be doing the world a disservice if I said, oh yeah, go, go with this much. That's how much you need. That's my answer. What's yours? We'll see you later.